All right, so here we've got our Nahiri Jeskai control deck. Um, this is a typical Jeskai control deck, but with a little bit of a twist, which we'll get into. Obviously, Nahiri is a big part of that. Um, one of the new cards from Shadows over Innistrad. Um, but we'll talk about some of the lands first. We've got a pretty typical blue, white, and red mana base, fetch lands, shock lands, um, and then sort of the best land, if you will, is the Celestial Colonnade because it's a win condition. It's a, you, it becomes, um, for five mana, it becomes a 4-4 four, four flying vigilance creature, and that's just very powerful. This deck gets to the late game a lot. You'll get to six mana a lot. And all of a sudden, Celestial Colonnade is a legitimate win condition. Um, it can attack Planeswalkers. It can block. Um, and it dodges some of the premium removal of the format. Lightning Bolt, Lightning Helix. Um, so one of, our, one of the primary reasons to be playing a blue and white control deck is actually Celestial Colonnade. Um, but let's get on to some of the spells. We are a Snapcaster Mage deck, which means we want a bunch of different instants we we can flash back with Snapcaster Mage. Um, if they're one mana, that's even better because that means playing Snapcaster Mage on three is very powerful. Um, so we've got four copies of Path to Exile. Um, it's the most popular removal spell in the format and Basically, Path to Exile and Lightning Bolt are just the best re removal spells in Modern. And this deck gets to play both of them. So we've got four copies of Bolt, four copies of Path, and then now we've also got two copies of Spell Snare. Spell Snare wasn't that popular when Eldrazi was doing well, but now that that deck is on the back burner a little bit, I like Spell Snare a lot more, so playing two copies of that card makes a lot of sense. Um, we've got some redundancy and three damage removal spell in three copies of Lightning Helix in the main. Um, we've seen a little bit of an uptick in Burn and Zoo variants, so Lightning Helix is really, really good against those decks. Um, and we've got three copies of those. We already talked about Snapcaster Mage, but Snapcaster Mage is a four of it's a creature which you can win the game with the snapcaster mage or snapcaster mage plus lightning bolt shenanigans um and just being a, a solid flash creature um seems to work out well um we've got a number of two mana instants as you can see so playing snapcaster mage on four uh for four mana total or for three mana total is what you'll typically see um, and we do have a host of two mana counter spells here, both Remand and Mana Leak. Um, and so sometimes you want Remand, sometimes you want just the easy, you know, your opponent doesn't have three mana up, I'm going to counter that um, in Mana Leak. And so we've got three of each of those. And then the last couple of uh, two mana cards are a little bit unusual, for sure. Um... We've got one copy of Hallowed Moonlight. So this is a card that's seen play in Standard, and now we're seeing it in Modern. It's got a few different um, places where it's good. Certainly against a Nihiri Ultimate, it's good. Against these Absan Collected Company decks, it's quite nice. Against Gorgo's Vengeance, it works nicely. So it's even against Eldrazi Displacer decks in Modern, um, it's good. So... There's a bunch of spots where you wouldn't think of Hallow Moonlight being good, and it actually is. So the Singleton in the main, it definitely will catch people off guard, and it's kind of nice, honestly. Um, and the last card here we see is the two copies of Anticipate. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised to see it over a card like Serum Visions, but that doesn't necessarily automatically mean it's worse. Um... A lot of times on turn one, rather than Serum Vision Visioning, you want to play some sort of tap land or maybe a one mana removal spell. And then on turn two, you want to be holding up a counter spell. So if you don't end up countering something, 
you can then anticipate instead because it's an instant. So I can see it being an instant, uh, making it worthwhile. Um, but it's still a bit unusual to see a card draw spell that's not a premium card draw um, option seeing play in modern. But uh, two copies of Anticipate and two copies of Anger of the Gods. We see decks like Abzan Collecting Company and Zoo and stuff like that having just a lot of three toughness creatures. Some of them you really want to exile. Um, and so Anger of the Gods is able to do that. Um, and we've got one copy of Electrolyze, just a good card right now against any deck with creatures. Uh, it's just a nice card. Um, and then we've got some four mana plays. We don't have, there aren't that many creatures in the deck. There is one copy of PN Kira Nalar, but now we're getting to the signature card of the deck, uh, the new card of the deck, and it's Nihiri the Harbinger, um, and the card does a lot against a lot of different decks. So, obviously, plussing it is the most common ability, just going plus two, I'm going to loot, and I'm going to loot again, but we also can tick it down in a number of spots, destroying enchantments, like against Boggles, or maybe we're playing against Affinity, we can destroy a tapped artifact, or, of course, you can just exile a... Um, tapped creature. So the minus two has utility against pretty much every archetype in modern, and it's a format of planeswalker that does not die very easily. There aren't that many heroes downfall type effects in modern right now, so Nahiri is very powerful, and it's not even seeing a ton of play in standard, so it's interesting to see four copies of it here in modern, but we've got one signature creature where if we just go plus two uh, Nahiri, plus two it again, all of a sudden you're on eight loyalty, and you can, on as early um, as turn six, you can go ahead and ultimate your Nahiri, and we've got Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, which is just basically, I'm going to win the game immediately, get Emrakul into play with haste, and you can attack, annihilate your opponent, and normally win right there on the spot. So... Yes, this deck plays Emrakul. Um, it's not a card we really want to actually draw, but you can discard it to Nahiri, shuffle it back in, and to make sure you have it ready when you're going ultimate. Um, and so that's the main deck for you. Um, the sideboard is... Pr we've got some pretty typical options here on the board. Um, we've got two copies of Dispel and two copies of Negate for your counter spells... Um, to supplement the main deck counter magic, we've got some sideboard options against control decks and combo decks of various natures. Um, Magma Sprays and Anger of the Gods come in in the decks where an Anger of the Gods would be good, exiling creatures like Voice of Resurgence, Kitchen Finks, stuff like that. Um, the Lightning Helix is good against the aggressive decks. Um, engineer explosives it's good against a lot of different strategies it's just a one of um, we've got the Avon Mind Sensors which can come in against basically any of these decks that search for creatures essentially sometimes they'll board out the cords and stuff like that sometimes they won't but Avon Mind Sensors is just a fine card to have access to um, we've got one copy of Timely Reinforcements um, as another life gain effect against the aggressive decks. Wear Tear is pretty self-explanatory. And then since Tron has been becoming a big deal, we've got the full three copies of Crumble to Dust because that is one of the more difficult matchups. And so if we do draw Crumble to Dust against Tron, we're a lot more likely to win than if we don't. So we've got a full three copies, and... Yeah, this is Nahiri Jeskai, and let's see how it ends up going.